Hi and hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Indian Mom Cooking. So today I've come up with a different recipe that you should all should try and uh, it's very easy to make as well and I'm just going to steam the eggs in the idli pan and then make a simple gravy out of it. It's a semi gravy consistency. You can very well take it to your lunch boxes or you can pack it to for your kids lunch box as well because the eggs remains softer for longer time so let's move on to the recipe now this is very very easy to make and if you're still new to my channel then click on that red subscribe button and let's jump into the video now so i'm going to take a idli pan so today i'm going to make three eggs and i'm going to grease the idli pan using oil so i'm just using silicone brush to grease the pan And I'm going to crack open the eggs and pour it on each bowl. So place it carefully into each bowl. And after this, I'm going to place this on the idli pan to steam. Before that, I'm going to add some salt. So when the water is boiling, I'm just going to place the idli pan. And I'm going to steam cook it for about 5 to 7 minutes. So some eggs cook for about uh, 5 minutes. You can place a knife into the yolk. If it comes clean, it is cooked. So you can check it that way. I'm going to steam cook it for about 5 to 7 minutes. And meanwhile, I'm going to prepare a simple basic gravy. For that, I'm going to take a karai and I'm going to add about 2 tablespoons of oil. You can very well use any oil of your choice. To that, I'm going to add about 1 big sized onion that are finely chopped. Give it a good stir. And at this stage, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. So salt makes the onion to release its moisture and cooks faster. And now I'm going to cook, for, cook it for about 3 minutes with the lid closed on medium flame. So now the onions are softer. At this stage, you can very well add ginger garlic paste. I'm not going to add in, in this dish. Now I'm going to keep the flame on sim and uh, add the powder masala starting off with 1 spoon of turmeric powder, 2 spoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder. You can very well add plain red chilli powder as well and 1 spoon of cumin powder and half spoon of pepper powder and required salt for the gravy. Make sure to keep the flame on sim otherwise the masala gets burnt. Add a dash of water and stir it. And now you just need to close the lid and cook it for about 5 minutes until the raw smell of the masalas goes off. Meanwhile, I'm going to check the eggs. So now it's been 5 minutes. I'm going to insert a knife and check whether it's cooked. It, so the knife has come out clean. I'm going to keep it aside for 2 minutes and then scoop off like you take the idlis. So as you all can see, it's so fluffy and softer like a cake. And I'm just going to keep this aside. So we are going to add it at the end. So I'm going to keep it aside. Now I'm going to add about two tomatoes that are pureed. So this gives you a nice consistency to the gravy. So stir it. Again, I'm going to cook this for about three to five minutes on medium flame with the lid closed. So after 5 minutes you could see the oil has separated from the gravy which indicates the gravy is well cooked. And you can very well add as much water you want. I wanted a semi gravy consistency. So 
at this stage again I'm going to add about half spoon of garam masala stir it again so as I told you I need a semi gravy consistency so that I'm going to add a dash of water and check for seasoning at this time if you want more salt you can add at this stage and now I'm going to add finely chopped coriander leaves which gives you a lot of flavor to the recipe so I'm going to place each egg carefully it's so soft just like a cake and if you're packing this for your lunch box or your kids lunch box it stays softer for longer time to try this recipe and at this stage you can very well close the lid and cook for about five minutes on sim so that the gravy gets well into the egg pieces so that is all this is how I made a simple egg recipe please do try it at home and let me know in the comment section and send me the picture if you tried it to my mail which is given in the description box and if you're still new to my channel click on the red subscribe button i will all catch you in my next video until then stay happy